Small Town Inertia Diary Entries, Jim Mottram, published by Cafe Royal Books 2013, edition 50 of 150. I think this is the first edition. I'm sure this was a sec there's a second edition of this, um, of this particular publication. What I like about this particular photo book is there's some text. And I often think sometimes with a little bit of text, a little bit of insight, that it is important to set the, set the, set the scene a little bit. And I know photography can set its own scene, but it, it, it's really, it, it sort of can help the, 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 the narrative, the, a bit of dialogue can help, um, can help set the scene of the story and give the, the viewer a little bit more information. Because we can see they're really strong pictures, but I would like to, if I didn't know about what Jim does, I would, I would, I would maybe want to find out a little bit. This is part of a bigger project which Jim's been working on for a long time. Small Town Inertia is a published um, book by Blue Court Press, and it's a more in-depth study of the people of Jim's hometown. And it's a beautiful book, it's beautifully shot, it's beautifully um, executed, it's beautifully recognised. There's a, It's all about the people, uh, there's interviews, there's a lot of dialogue between visually and in, in, in an academic form as well. It's just got everything and it's heart, heartfelt. There was a passion behind doing it. There was no commercial motive at all in doing it. It was somebody who wanted to tell a story and that's what he did. And I know Jim's working on another series of um, diaries and another series of small town inertia. And he's trying new methods, he's trying new ways of doing stuff. And that's what it's all about. What doesn't surprise me is that there is text with this because I know Jim would probably demand that there is some text with this. And I think he sees text as a very powerful tool to work on side. With, with imagery. So let me just, oh, I'm going to skim through this and I'm going to give you the, the website for Jim. I'm going to give you the website for Cafe World Books. And at some point, I'll put Small Town Inertia in the camera video whack and get it out there. I have got it. And I wanted to do it nearer a time when Jim's other books were coming out. So it would give him a bit of help and a bit of promotion and get his message out there. Because, you know, I'm a photographer and we are like, he's a photographer and we're, we're all should help each other. And we're like a brotherhood and sisterhood and, and we should all work together and help each other. And it, it, it makes it into a healthy environment. So I have no problems showcasing Jim's work. Let me just give you a little insight. Um, I'll give you this paragraph here. In J.A. Mottram's Small Town Inertia, diary entries, we push our way into habitation, we may call it realism, we may call it documentary, we may call it the record of lives at the edges of the normative. We have our provisions, fags, books, posters, tattoos, the last ditch brand names, we are given our own imaginations. But this isn't imagination, it is the given, the economic as habitation. It is the familiar territory that always looks unfamiliar because of the way it is seen and has to be seen. Photography speaks to us of our plight. Text by George Z. Zizirets, Sirtes, maybe? George um, S Z I R T E S. I knew I'd spoil it because as soon as a complicated name comes along, I fall apart. Um, right, so I want to show some of these beautiful, beautiful, poignant images. And I can see straight away that, you know, that, like I've mentioned before, with a lot of black and whites, there's a sort of extra beauty which comes across through, when I'm looking at the viewfinder in my camera and I'm looking at this, this it sort of enhances it into a beautiful, it just adds a bit of contrast to it and it just looks incredible. So I'm sure you're going to get a beautiful vision in front of you when you are looking on the video screen. Let's have a... Do you know what? This is one of my favourite shots by Jim. Out of all of his shots, there's two shots. Um, that's this one, the kids in, with the camp, with the, with the old um, push chair in front of the, t the shop in the town centre. And it always reminds me of being a child myself because I used to make gigs and go-karts out of these wheels. And I just love the sort of candidness of this picture, the sort of coming together of everything really, the, the innocence, the childhood, 
the, 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 the actual way the camera has total power over them subjects and have made them and slowed them down and, and, and captured a, a perfect image. I think it's gone a bit dark on the original. The original's got a little bit more detail on it. Um, wow. Well, live it and love it. Living rooms are never easy to shoot in. This is like something from the 60s, and I think it's the hair what does it as well on that deco. But I've shot in many living rooms and not easy places to shoot. And I know with this, and you will find out if you, if you go and dig into small town inertia, every one of these people, every person in here has a story. Has some, they're somewhere in their life. And there is some, they're all somewhere in their life, as we all are, with a big story to tell or they're there for a reason. And I guess we're all on. And Jim is sitting in that room for a reason himself. He's sitting there to tell a story, their story. But I think Jim's telling his story as well. And I think we're all there for that. And I'm getting really deep, but I think, you know, Jim's on a mission and, and, and we're all here for a reason, To a, some would argue. But um, I think we're looking at small town inertia and we're looking at the plight and the situation of a lot of these people, but I, I think Jim's on his own story here. Jim, this is Jim's story, and I think if you could take a step out and look at the way Jim's working and his life and the way he doesn't have to do this, and he's documenting people around him, he's, 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 in, he's living a life parallel to these people in a sense, you know, he's, he's doing it for a purpose. This is the cover for um, The Small Town Inertia, the actual finished book. I think that, yeah, that is the cover, I think. And I'm waffling a bit, I do apologise. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Use, amazing use of um, available light. I've just been up north, east, I think in the northeast of England, shooting in a house similar to that and I know how difficult it is and you've got to you've got to you can't just turn up and get this stuff you've got to you've got to have trust and access and time and patience and understanding in your delivery One of my favourite shots is not in here, and I'm pleased. That means that I'll, you will and I will have to go on to the Small Town Inertia um, website, or Jim Mottram's website, and find it. Well done, Jim. <laughs>